we're going to take a look at working with Shobi and the suite of apps from Google, Google Apps for Education. I've got a number of these in a folder on my iPad. So the first thing I'm going to look at is Google Drive. And I have the app installed on my iPad. Let's open that up and you can see that I've signed into the app using my username and password. Now having done that, if we pop into Shobi here, we'll see that we can access Google Drive. And remember, of course, that you can access Google Drive from your PC, uh, put all your assets in them, basically move between the devices as you need in the classroom. So using Shobi at the front end, uh, what you'll see here is I've, I've sent a message to the students telling them that links, pictures, files, assets, etc., are all going to be here. I'm using Shobi as the front end for my Google Apps for Education suite. I prefer doing it this way as opposed to sending them to a folder within um, within Google because what I would then have to do is constantly create different folders for different projects and move things in and out. With Shobi, I find I can just access uh, all the bits I need and bring them together in one place here. And then the students and I can use the comments, the audio tools, etc., as a sort of two-way communication to all the various assets that I need. So if I now tap on the plus where we would access the camera and the photo library, at the bottom here where it says file, having installed the Google Drive app, I can now sign in, and you'll only need to do this once, sign in using your username and password, and then when you tap on your account, you'll be able to see everything that you've got in Google Drive here. And much like Dropbox, if I tap on a PDF or accept, uh, for example, this anger, envy and insults PDF, um, that will go straight to the students from there. So I'll tap on it and show you that working. So to save a bit of time, I've just cut to the bit where that has uh, uploaded to Shobi and the students can now access that. Um, out of interest, if you install the Dropbox uh, or iCloud Drive apps on your device and then sign into them, you can do the same thing. So this is really useful. Now, let's say you want to work from Google Drive going into Shobi and you might want to use something like um, uh, just go uh, directly from an image. What I'm going to do, because this iPad will allow me to split screen, I'm going to bring up uh, Google Drive on the right here and you can see the two basically working together. If I want to access anything within Drive here, whether it be a link or whatever, I can get hold of that file from here. You see I'm just tapping on these three little dots and tap on send a copy. Select open in on the bottom row and select show me. You'll see on the left it's now saying do you want to add that file? And there it is. If you want to use one of the other Google Apps, and I'll move to Slides, for example, and you've created something, uh, let's just do quickly here, tap on the plus. Having created the assets that you want to share with your students, you're doing the same thing that we just did from Google Drive. Send a copy, choose the format that you want to send them, and that will appear in Shobi, open up Shobi, you select the class that you want to send it to and tap add file. What's happening in Shobi here, by the way, on the left hand side is because I'm logged in, Shobi is assuming that the last place I logged in and whether I'm in um, the shared folder or whether I'm uh, within a sort of specific student's account, it automatically goes there. Uh, of course, you can, as you're doing that whole process, to select another class, select another assignment or another student. So it's very easy to do. Now, what I want to do is take you to one other aspect of Google um, Apps for Education that I use that won't work this, uh, the same way. And that is uh, Google Forms. You'll notice there isn't an app for this. Google Forms are created in the browser, uh, no matter which device you're using, uh, iPad, laptop etc and you create your form as I've done here and when you're ready to share it with your class you're going to share a link you tap on send top right and we want this little link icon which I've just selected 
and it's as easy as just tapping on the word copy highlighted here and that's copied that link to my clipboard and I can just return to Shobi, tap inside the comment box, tap again and select paste and that's pasted my link into the comment box. I tap on the word post and all my students have to do is tap on that link and it's dynamic taking them directly to my Google form. It's as easy as that. So several ways of using Google Apps for Education with Shobi and bringing uh, documents straight in from within Shobi or working from the app itself. So here we have Google Drive, taking the link and sending it to Shobi from there or in the case of Google Forms, accessing it, accessing it from a browser and sending the link that way. I do like using Shobi as the front end because what I find with um, some students is they find the whole suite or accessing various folders in Google Drive confusing and Shobi really is a much friendlier way of wrapping everything up for a project um, in, in, in one place and then they can actually interact uh, send you messages uh, if they need more help or support etc. It's great. One other aspect of this that you might consider is to create a group if you want to do it collaboratively with everybody um, seeing the same link and then being able to feed back into the same place. Well, create a new group and do the same thing. Uh, so we'll do that very quickly. We'll call this Google group for the moment. Send, send this link out to whether it be parents, students or, or just other teachers. And then from here you can access exactly as I did earlier in the, in, in the video, or send stuff to the group uh, in the same way. That's Shobi and Google Apps for Education.